everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I happen to be up to, it's what you're gonna see right here. And today we are in Middletown, New Jersey to check out Vendor Palooza. There's supposed to be over a hundred vendors here, so I wanted to see what they had to offer. So maybe we'll get some holiday shopping in. This vendor had some beautiful wood crafting. Everything from bottle toppers to these fantastic pens. They almost have a steampunk quality to them. And these pens have a space motif. This vendor that makes wreaths explained to me that she makes a wreath for every holiday that comes up during this season. So on display, there were everything from season's greetings, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. And since I had recently gone to the Diwali festival, I asked her about that and she said that she sold a lot of Diwali wreaths last week. This vendor had a lot of cute towels, like this. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. How are you? I was blown away by this vendor. She makes these dishes that she casts from leaves that grow in her backyard. And then she makes a mold from those leaves and then casts them in stone. And you know, you could use these for almost anything. And I say almost because she did say they are not food safe, but they are fantastic for any type of display. And as this vendor put it, she said, we have to think outside the box. Flavoring comes with the injector, so you can actually squish this inside of the poultry. So it's an injectable marinade. Pretty cool. Here we have a multitude of different seasonings from sunflower meadow seasonings. There are so many options. There are different dip mixes, rubs, so many flavors to be had at this vendor's booth. This vendor had some very unique art where she was using flatware and, and turning it into art. There were everything from garden markers, jewelry, decorative vases, and even cheese labels. So if you were doing a charcuterie board, you could label the cheeses with this engraved fork that says what kind of cheese it is. These decoupage seashells have become all the rage. I keep seeing these at different craft fairs I go to, and they are just so popular right now. I found a few Halloween leftovers in here, all these pot holders. We have some skeletons, some bones, some creepy cats, all sorts of Halloween theme. Over here, this vendor has a very beach feel. They have a lot of mermaid and seashell art, a lot of the things that you would tend to find down the shore. This vendor really specialized in that type of home decor. I was so impressed with this tiny Christmas tree because it's made out of little tiny pine cones. Talk about looking good enough to eat. These are candles, but they smell like what they look like. So they had key lime pie, pancakes, uh, fruit loops. They had all sorts of flavors, but not really flavors because you don't eat them. So flavors for your nose. Here we have some ornaments. I definitely like those Jack Skellington ones. These crystal crowns were really beautiful. I just wouldn't have a place to wear them, but they looked really nice. 
These eco-friendly paperless napkins I found really interesting. They're made out of beeswax. And in fact, everything at this vendor's booth had some sort of beeswax in them, which they harvest from the bees that they raise. This booth had so much bling. Everything was so shiny. I felt like Tamatoa. I just was amazed by all the sparkles. This vendor had a really unique booth with really beautiful wands. What she explained to me is that these wands are designed to be used for meditation purposes. And you know, she kind of explained to me this philosophy of you know, intentionally putting broken stones or broken gems on them to represent that you know, nobody's perfect and we're all works in progress. This vendor was also embracing the beach theme. She had a lot of seahorse and mermaid themed home decor. There were also several jewelry vendors. They had some pretty shiny stuff too. Some of the vendors were really getting into the holiday spirit. They had candles and greeting cards. Everything was all in that theme, that, that red and white plaid and really feeling the, the holiday vibes here. I don't know about you, but if I got a gift that was packaged like this, I wouldn't care what was in it. The box is beautiful. In this case, she did say that she packages some sweet treats in those boxes, but I'm just like blown away by the packaging. Here we have some classic vinyl melted down into bowls. They could be used for decoration, but they're not food safe. moments like this I wish I could have sugar again because these cocoa bombs look to die for. They look fantastic. These trays are so cute. They're like, dear Santa, in case you're thirsty, and a little arrow for where to put the cup. And this is my favorite cookie and an arrow for where to put the cookie. And there's even a spot for Rudolph's carrot. How adorable is that? Oh, and these little knit Candy cane covers are so cute. They'll keep your candy canes organized and warm. There's even something for our four-legged friends here. They had this booth that had little treats just for the canines among us. So this was a great market. It had outdoor vendors that wrapped all the way around the building. And as you can see behind me, it's a sizable building. And then the entire inside was also filled with vendors. So they had everything from like jewelry and cooking ware, like Pampered Chef was there. They had different spices and people who did their own homemade spice blends. They had a lot of doggy treats. Um, warm and woolies, so hats and scarves. Yeah, they had a lot of the decoupage seashells. 
um, a lot of different unique arts. There was a woman who made sculptures that she cast from leaves from her backyard and made these display dishes. Uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, a lot of gems and crystals and new age and meta, what is it, metaphysical mm -hmm. um, items. There's so much that I'm like having a hard time recalling everything because there was just a lot of variety and, and just a lot of vendors. And the vendors were so friendly. Everyone was like, just glad to be out and it's a gorgeous day and just enjoying it. With that, I am done for the day and I will see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.